What's up guys, we got a Gears 3 gameplay on the map slab here, it's Team Deathmatch, ranked, and I'm versing a full squad. The gameplay starts off a little slow, but if you stick with it, I think you'll find it gets a lot better. And the reason I wanted to show this gameplay specifically is because I felt like it was a little bit more competitive and a little bit more demanding. A lot of the times when I post gameplays where I put out really high numbers and get a really good score, it's because the other team is just not at the same level of play as, say, the other players are in the lobby or myself. So matches like this are a little bit refreshing to me because I actually have to work very hard to get the win and those are the matches that feel more competitive and that I tend to have more fun playing so hopefully you have fun watching it you'll see I get a clutch moment which is actually really nice I haven't had one of those in a while and clutching in gears is one of the most memorable factors of the game in general now the reason I wanted to make this video is because I want to start off my own challenger series no not 1v1 challenger series like temporize that is his domain arguably one of the best 1v1 players in the gears community if not the best and he's done an amazing job with his challenger series so i'm going to leave that uh to him and i actually challenged him recently so i'm going to link his channel you should really check him out if you don't already know him and he'll have that on his channel great player great great guy now enough of temp what i want to do is start a challenger series for team on team so i have a group of friends that still play gears I'll just call them modded talent, although I know Pussy Patrol is still very popular amongst some of you. Uh, either name will do. And we enjoy playing Gears, but you cannot find that much competition left on this game because a lot of a lot of people are leaving. There's not too many organized tournaments, which is a shame because this game competitively is probably one of the most fun. So what I want to do as a sort of project or experiment before I go off to school, because then I'm really not going to have enough uh, time to uh, put into my channel or videos as much, is before I leave I want to have a bunch of listening videos of anybody who watches my channel or just wants to play against my my team and I in general and uh, I will basically run down how how I picture this working so if you can message me on YouTube via inbox or message me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is xxclutchchris. If you pause it, you'll see it in the video. And give me a team name, your gamer tag. Uh, if you're willing to, the name of your friends that you want playing, although I, that's not too important, and which game you want to play competitively. I'm thinking there's either Gears 3, Judgment, Traditional, Multiplayer, or Overrun. I'd love to do Overrun, but that would require 5v5s. You message me uh, when you guys want to play or just message me and I will I will add you and when both of our teams are on I will challenge you best of three or best of five depending on how much time we have I will take the most entertaining match and I will put it on my channel in a listen in style so you'll see from my perspective obviously and the uh, you can hear the amount of communication and hopefully watch the high level of play that happens which will be uh, just a great way for me to meet some of the people who uh, like watching my channel or meet some people who like ha to have some competition but are having a tough time finding it themselves now all I ask is that there's no teabagging no trash talking this is competitive but this is also meant to be fun so I don't want anybody getting upset this is all just for fun and games if you are the type of player or you have the type of team that isn't that great because you just don't have enough time to be playing what I can do is and, and please still challenge me if that's the case what I can do is I can mix up my team with your team just to make things more balanced and it's still lots of fun I've had matches like these in the past where and we always balance it and it can be really fun because when two teams are basically uh, equivalent in terms of overall skill level uh, that is when you're going to have the most fun playing games so it, don't worry if you're not uh, a a high level player it will it will be fun either way and I strongly strongly urge that you uh, participate in this it should be loads of fun if you don't have a team maybe what you can do is message your a gamer tag in a comment and some people who are on the same boat will see that pick up on it and you guys can uh, get together and challenge me this should be loads of fun I'm actually really excited to do this you'll recognize some of my team I'll have slaughter in there uh, ninja and a couple more of my friends uh, we're not we're not the best team in the world so no need to worry we're just a uh, mediocre team looking to have some fun and this should be uh, just great overall so I'm looking forward to seeing some messages hopefully I do and I guess that's all I wanted to mention for now so I will talk about a couple random topics before the gameplay ends and the first would be that uh, about competition itself on that note and that's that I don't really understand why a lot of uh, players or a lot of teams don't want to compete because uh, they just uh, feel like they're not the best out there that that is a common misconception I think I tend to find with uh, 
people looking to get into the competitive crowd. A lot of people watch high-level pro players, whether it's on Halo or Gears, and they just think to themselves, damn, my team or myself, is, we're not that good, so we just shouldn't even put uh, time into it. We'll just leave that to them. But uh, you can be a mediocre player and still love playing competitively. Like I said, it's just a matter of matchmaking. Finding teams that are equivalent to your skill uh, skill level. If you find a team that's, let, uh, let's say, power level 5, power level 6, that's just some random stuff I made up. That's going to be a decent match. That's going to be fun. But if you, you have uh, a team that's 10 out of 10 versus a team that's 3 out of 10, uh, then that's when things are not too fun. Because it's just not balanced. But uh, with, with uh, pro level teams what you tend to find is you know it's nine out of ten teams for seeing ten out of ten teams so to speak but you people in the community in general can enjoy competitive play uh, which is what i want to try to prove with this series and and have fun with it at the same time regardless of your skill level it's all about uh communication teamwork and, and it's fun it's really a learning experience you'll find that if you do end up getting competitive you're going to have a lot of games you lose and every time you lose it's a learning experience you get better from it uh, so i wish a lot of people would play uh, competitively uh, even though there's not really a scene for it right now but uh, I guess you have to make your own scene in that case uh, just just to watch the competitive crowd grow because the more teams you have playing competitively the, the more likely you are to find a team that's uh, at your skill level and it can be very rewarding to improve with the same players over time uh, and just beating some of the teams you might have had trouble beating with in the past so I think those are uh, some key points or key themes I want to touch on with this whole series I'm starting. By the way, you should message me. If you haven't already messaged me, pause this video and message me right now. I'm sorry, I have to nail that uh, into you guys. That sounds kind of wrong, but uh, you know what I mean. The last thing I want to talk about with the time I have left is the whole notion of updating uh, this game. I know Judgment's already been updated, but basically I think Microsoft has drop the fees for title updates for games which is great for independent developers but that's really great for any game in general and uh, my question is can Gears of War 3 get an update now I know that Gears Judgment is the game they're supporting makes complete sense uh, because uh, that that's their latest game that's the game they want to push but I saw in the th forums and I guess I'd mention here that uh, a lot of people want Gears 3 to get an update um, just some few minor changes because uh, the game has a higher population level than Gears of War Judgment so it kind of makes sense in a sense uh, to help this game out if it's possible so basically uh, th this game a lot of people are asking for the hammer burst the retro uh, maybe even stopping power and active reloads to just be eliminated and that would make this game 10 times better even though it's already a great game uh, and that would be pretty cool to see if that could happen in Gears 3. Similar to Halo 4's Turbo Update, I'm thinking, where this game just uh, gets beefed up and maybe catches some people's attention. Obviously, with Gears Judgment, they had a title update, and I'm, I know they made some of the changes uh, that they wanted to, but there's also a lot of things they said they just couldn't change. So if there's things that they couldn't change and they don't have any DLCs planned, my question is, is it possible for Gears of War 3 to see a slight change and maybe capture people's attention, or is that unrealistic? Uh, leave your thoughts below, and please message me if you want to compete, and thank you for watching.